Okay, go on, go on, go on. Just through here. Pixel Space was created during my first term at college and was the first game I ever created. I created the original art for the game, the coding and the story, something which I've never done before. I bet you're wondering, wow Mitch, for your first ever indie game it kind of looks pretty decent. Well, that's because it isn't the first version of this game. This is the original. <gasps> I created this game back in 2014. My final college project was a reinvented version of Pixel Space known as Pixel Space V2, which was created in 2018. Pixel Space V2 had a whole array of brand new features, which I will get to later on in this video. But before I talk about Pixel Space V2, I guess we have to start somewhere. So let's take a deep dive into the original Pixel Space. So straight away, the spaceship is just sliding all over the place. I have no idea where it's actually going. The buttons don't really respond well to it. It's just busted. Like, it just, it just doesn't work. Why are you running? Why are you running? So the aim of this game is basically you're escaping Earth from an alien attack and all the ships which are shooting you are aliens whereas you're in a rocket. Now the rocket has no defense mechanism and it's basically a game where if you get hit then you're destroyed you have to restart. If you survive a certain amount of time it will start a next level. If you don't survive then you've got to restart. There's loads of different types of enemies which shoot different projectiles at the player. There's ones which continuously shoot, there's ones which shoot in certain angles. There's loads of different types of enemies. The only problem with this game is it's stupidly hard. Like, you have to practice where all the enemies are at all times and it can be very tedious and it can be frustrating. If you survive this incredibly stupidly hard game, then you get to play the next level of hard, the boss battle. Now, in the original Pixel Space game, the boss battle does not end. There is no, it says endless mode, and it means you just gotta survive as long as possible. Now, no one has, there, there actually isn't an end to this mode. You can keep going, and if you manage to survive that long, then you'll get to see basically nothing on the screen. All the enemies will disappear but I've never actually gotten that far in the game. I think I've made it too hard, so. The only way I actually got to the boss battle is because of a secret glitch that I have in the respawn screen. Now, the timer still goes when you're dead, and if you leave the timer going for so long, there's a glitch that actually puts you straight into the boss battle. With the first game over and done with, let's talk about the second game. The second game was my final college project in my final year of college. I thought, as my first term in college, I did the game Pixel Space. I wanted to rehaul it and show off what has changed in my knowledge and kind of just make a game that I really wanted to make. Pixel Space 2 had brand new art style, it had a soundtrack, it had co-op, it had cutscenes. The whole game was just so fleshed out with its own story and unique gameplay. There was loads of new enemies and I honestly can't wait to show you guys. If you guys would love this game to be released, then please let me know in the comments down below because I would quite happily work on this game, get it released, and I would love to see you guys play it. So let me know down in the comments down below. And before we begin talking about Pixel Space 2, me and my girlfriend are going to do a live stream, hopefully this week or next week, where we will be playing Pixel Space 2 co-op together. Now, this is a bit strange because I've never actually done a live stream, but let's see how it goes. If you want to check it out, then don't forget to click the like button, subscribe on this video or on this channel, and uh, click the little bell icon to get notified of when I upload next. So at the beginning of Pixel Space V2, there is a cutscene to show you escaping Earth, just like I explained earlier. As you escape Earth, you're met with enemies that start shooting you, and there is loads and loads of different types of enemies in this game. In the first game, all of the bullets and projectiles was based on code, whereas in the second game, I changed that to animation. So when I animated a character, I could have the bullets go from each uh, like crazy direction, I could have them do whatever they want, and this gave characters or enemies within my game more personality. So I have loads of different types of enemies, and yes, they are still stupidly hard. 
Okay, go on, go on, go on. Just through here. Yet again, if you survive so long, then you get to go to the boss battle. Now, this game's boss battle is a much, much more detailed boss battle compared to the older game. In this boss battle, you can see the enemy health bar, which because of my recording software, you can't actually see it, but it is at the bottom of the screen. Uh, there is also the enemies are faster, they shoot faster, you move faster, and the background also moves faster, and also there is the boss ship that is actually animated as well. Now, the longer you go through this level, his health will actually go down to show that you're actually progressing. And that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget me and my girlfriend are going to do the live stream of the game very, very soon. And also, if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and comment down below. I respond to all the comments. You can also check out my discord because I do a lot of talking on there. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys, and peace.